Welcome back to IDO Today. Oh, this conversation, I'm so excited to share this with you. Stan Zimmerman, his upcoming memoir, The Girls from the Golden to Gilmore, is a candid, funny, and sometimes poignant story that details Stan's relationships with not only some of entertainment's most remarkable women, but the women in his life who helped him turn his dreams into a reality. I had a chance to talk with him and to learn about his amazing career. Take a look at this. Stan, it is so great to see you. I am humbled by you taking the opportunity and the time to talk with us today, so thank you. I'm humbled to be here with a Shakespearean actor. Uh, <laughs> you, stu you studied at Oxford, I do my research. You did do your research, I'm very impressed. But, but truly though, your history is just so great and you were a part of and played a major role in one of America's most beloved sitcoms, that is Golden Girls. And now you're taking your lessons from working on that show and writing and you're sharing it with everyone, which is perfect timing for Valentine's, right? So tell us about Valentine's Day with the Golden Girls, some of the lessons of self-love that you learned. So tell us about this. It really is a Valentine's towards all the wonderful women I've worked with. Of course, there are some dishy moments, but it really is from the heart. And people have said that one common thread throughout my writing is that there's a lot of heart. And I think that's, uh, you know, just my attitude on life and kind of being an outsider and always looking in. But also my mother said that uh, I came out of the womb laughing <laughs> and uh, that I looked at life through rose colored glasses. Stan though, tell us about your role in Golden Girls for those who may not be familiar with your illustrious career. I was very young at the time. It was uh, our second staff job. And at the time, uh, the first season, nobody knew a show about four older women would actually be popular with America. And yet here we are discussing it so many years later. Yes. But for some reason, I think it was my Midwest upbringing that taught me to really appreciate every single moment as it was happening. And while I was on that set, I took that in. I couldn't believe the women that I had grown up watching TV with you know, B. Arthur as Maude and Betty White as Sue Ann Niven on the Mary Tyler Moore show, they were reading my line. And I was riding in elevators with them and seeing them every day at rehearsal. Uh, so it was shocking, scary, a lot of, a lot of emotions, but I did know I was lucky to be there. Do you have a, a golden moment, if you will, with, with, with Betty White that really stands out? Well, there is a little secret that uh, Jim, my writing partner, we actually were reading an article in the New York Times and she was discussing her late husband, Alan Ludden, who was host of Password, some people might know that. And she talked about him in such a beautiful way that we took that actual quote and put it into Rose's mouth and Betty said it. And I really wish I had gotten to tell her that we did that. I don't think she ever knew that. Aww. And uh, so that is a lesson, I think. And if you're thinking something, do it. Don't wait around. Now you have a book coming out too. So tell us about that really quick. Um, it's about the stories about all the wonderful women I've worked with and Roseanne. And, um, you know, I get into all the nitty gritty of what it was like on all those TV shows. And as I said, I kept journals. So when I started the book, I decided to go back and read the journals, which was very intense because it was a young person writing about being on a show and constantly being scared of being fired or not asked back and mm -hmm. wanting to do a good job. And, um, but then how lucky I was and, and the pattern of, you know, one writer is lucky to be on one hit TV show, but to be on three TV shows that were not only hits, but that are still relevant today. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I saw that in the New York Times published that Gilmore Girls was the sixth most watched show in 2023. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is that possible? And I, I think it's a testament to the, the, you know, the people that created the show. Um, and two of those shows were created by wonderful women, Susan Harris and my good friend, Amy Sherman Palladino. Stan, thank you. Where can people find your book? On Amazon or anywhere, just Google the girls or find me on ZimmermanStan.com and there'll be many links and uh, maybe I can direct you in a play at some point. Woo! That would be amazing. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> I would I would totally acquiesce to that. That would be incredible. 
everyone, Stan Zimmerman. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for making us laugh and remembering what's important.